And if they say asphalt, to me, especially that specific country, my natural like gut reaction is going to say fertilizer. And fertilizer, I know for sure, lots of those countries in that area use that to make HME. Nothing in the show should be considered legal, medical, or financial advice. The views of the callers can differ considerably and do not necessarily reflect my opinion, Dex's opinion, or anyone else who works with the show. You should always do your own research and consult with professionals. The internet is full of fake news, so please take everything with a grain of salt. I would hope that everybody knows you can support us through EMP Shield, uh, but you can also protect yourself. You will get $50 off on every EMP Shield that you order uh, on top of any sale that they're running. Go to marfuglenews.com slash EMP to protect yourself. Uh, Dex, let's get the next caller on. Uh, let's let's bring on, uh, it looks like we have Lisa Marie. Lisa Marie was, uh, she, if you are familiar, we actually clipped her last call. She was the uh, in a very similar position to Edward Snowden. She had a position where she was uh, taking data. She worked for, in the same place doing Ru- Russian cryptologic work. So she was taking that and intercepting that kind of stuff. Uh, she was the one who called in and told us about how she saw that they were collecting military data on soldiers, her friends, and she started deleting that and actually got yelled at for that. What's going on, Lisa Marie? It's it's uh, glad to have you back calling from Utah. What is happening? Hello, Adam. Hey, Google fam. How are you? I'm. We're doing good. So I, I guess what what would you like to talk about today? Well, so a couple of things, but I've been listening and um, we're talking about those ships in the I country and it reminded me of something that I came across in the military. And so I thought, you know, this is right. Just my hypothesis, but feel free to, you know, let everybody let this sink in. Maybe we can really come up with like a real um, idea of what's going on. Um, A lot of the times when we would come across oppositional forces and we would be tracking their information they would come up with we called them cover terms so for example um rockets or or things of that nature um you would hear some kind of communication with regards to oh hey i'm selling a bunch of pens or pencils right and when you're in the middle of that place right you don't really imagine like huge Amazon shipments for office depot, you know? (laughs) And, and so we had to kind of learn through their analysis um, as to what it was that they were talking about contextually. And if they say asphalt to me, especially that specific country, my natural like gut reaction is going to say fertilizer and fertilizer. I know for sure lots of those countries in that area use that to make HME, right? Homemade, we'll call them expletive. Um, And so with that being the case, right, because that country specifically is looking for various types of armament and they can make it themselves. And it's incredibly useful to know that because if they can arm themselves with various types of, you know, boom booms um, that requires literally just fertilizer and a place to mix it up and let it dry for a couple of days. We came across that a lot. So if, if you're, if we're looking at anything even remotely similar to an oil tanker size or something with various types of cargo ships, right, that would be something that would be very disconcerting to me and something that would be right. Highly sought after specifically in an is versus I country sort of conflict. So let anybody run with that however they'd like to. So that would be my if, go-to analysis. So you're saying if they had a huge amount of fertilizer, they could make something that was extremely, extremely dangerous. Yep, homemade boom boom. We call it HME. Wow. Um, now, as far as... And that as, would make sense why you would have that level of aggressive you know, tactics in order to overtake and 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 switch proprietorship of a vessel of that nature you know what i mean 
Now, what, well, yeah, that's a whole lot right in one place. Otherwise, they might might not be able to buy or purchase it because nobody's in the right man right mind would sell it to them. What do you think about the six other ships that yeah. lost power? What do you? How do you think that that happened? So that I would I would almost a hundred percent bet would be EMP related <clears throat> because right ten twelve years ago we were using what the Marines called a chameleon. And that was the EMP shield that we would use whenever we would hit any of the roads on a convoy because they had figured out within the last 20 years how to get us with that as, as quickly as they could. And they, would, they were able to do so literally by digging through our garbage and finding spare parts. So if a country that's been at war for over 100 years right, can figure out how to use like pieces from a surefire light and fertilizer to have boom booms that take out, you know, 60 people out of, you know, the course of like three different like convoys or foot patrols, then you're going to have that whole area that has those capabilities because most of these people aren't even like literate. So if they have that kind of expertise, then that's kind of why we prevented them from having any access to any sort of aviation is because if we if we encountered them in the air, we were screwed. They would outgun us and outman us with our own equipment. So, and I'm I'm not saying that that's for sure what they're doing, but that's what it sounds like based on my experience coming across anything like that. Um, the best way to overtake if you have right seven ducks in a row and you want one of them, you're you're going to have you know a fantastic Freddy so that they don't know what they're chasing after or what they're losing, especially if you have cover terms as to what the contents of said shipment would be. So, of course, stating that they might have something different on a ship because obviously it could be of some value to people just like that. Um, very strange. Yep. So would those be decoys then? Is that what yeah. you're saying? Nobody. I would think so, right? Like, you know, the game you play with your kids where you have like three upside down cups and there's like a little fun size candy bar under one. You're just like moving them around, right? Trying to get them to pay attention. This is doing kind of like the antithesis of that where you're like, look at all these things. Look at all these things. I only need that one. Look at all these things, you know? And it's, it's very David Blaine-esque, like militaristic tactics. But nobody's going to sell either one of those countries anything, especially of that magnitude, that has mm -hmm. that potential capability. Now, again, these are seven humongous ships, and with all of them losing power, everybody's so focused on this chaotic moment where uh, all the ships say that they don't have power. If one ship uh, was rolling, everybody's so focused on these six other ships, they just got away with this huge cargo ship-sized load of possible fertil fertilizer, which they could make into boom booms that could kill thousands. I could totally see that. Uh, very, very interesting yeah. as far well, as that if goes. You, <clears throat> yeah, if you think about it like the news today, right, we got information out about a governor in New York and his, you know, explorative, uh, inappropriate behavior. But everybody's focused on all of these 74,000 different items of, you know, of evidence, and nobody's thinking, oh, well, the DOJ did just drop last week an investigation into, you know, elderly homes and, and certain policies and things that might have been not so beneficial. Nobody's thinking about that now. It's literally a distraction tactic based on these massive numbers and something else that creates this fantastic Freddy that makes everybody go, yeah, yeah, this thing, this thing. Because those policies, right, happen in other states. You had New York, you had Michigan, you had, you know, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, California with, you know, multiple, you know, different persons in that executive state branch that this will be our sacrificial lamb. If you want to support the show in a different way, you can go to marfuglenews.com slash VPN. I would hope that everybody knows you can support us through EMP Shield, uh, but you can also protect yourself. You will get $50 off on every EMP Shield that you order uh, on top of any sale that they're running. Uh, they've done some amazing sales lately. Uh, again, make sure to go to this website to check. 
uh, it will automatically uh, be on top of our $50 off whatever they're running. So again, it's it can actually protect you against all three phases of an EMP. It can protect all of your devices like your home, uh, your car, your RV, your motorcycle, your ham radio, or even your solar system. It can also protect all of your devices or your motors or your engines against solar flares, the natural kind. Not only this, it can protect your home against lightning or any other thing that you put these on. They make a device for pretty much everything, the most popular being the car. Uh, you don't want to be stuck somewhere after we get hit with multiple EMPs. This can take it. It's Keystone tested. It's actually used. Uh, this company is now contracted with DHS, Department of Homeland Security, DOD, uh, Department of Defense, and of course the Demso team helping protect the Texas grid. Go to marfuglenews.com slash EMP to protect yourself and to help uh, independent media at the same time. Again, you win because you get a discount. We win because we get a commission and that helps us grow. So we really do appreciate each and every one of you that have already done it or have already protected yourself. Feed the haters to the alligators. Your weight or the highway. See you later. DOD is the homie and Mr. Vader. If it wasn't for you, I would never made it. Whole city's covered by the cremated. Now they listen to what we were saying. Doesn't matter if my manufacturer or created. But now 